The last year, Quick Trip has been working on establishing itself in two Marquette County locations so far, but now it's official. Today was the grand opening for the Gwen and Sands Township stores. TV6's Audrey Stetson shares how these Quick Trips are thanking their communities for the warm welcome. Quick Trips in Marquette County are lending a helping hand to those who help communities the most. Quick Trip made $1,000 donations to four police and fire departments in Marquette County. So when we join a community, um, our mission statement says that we want to make a difference in someone's lives. And looking at the police and fire department, who better that makes a difference in people's lives every day. The Sands Township Fire Department will use the donation for a new fire truck. Sands Township Clerk Carolyn Kirkula says in any community, the fire department is valuable and needed. These people put a lot of their own time and energy into serving their community and the best thing that we can do is get them the equipment that they need. Forsyth Township Police Department Sergeant Jesse Cadwell says the donation will go towards its newly developed canine program. With that, it's going to be uh, an explosive and tracking dog, um, also available for the schools if there's ever a bomb threat and helping to locate anybody that ends up going missing in, in our jurisdiction. Marquette Quick Trip store leader Brad Nett says even though the store has been open for a while, today is its official grand opening. We had to, you know, have a remodel and, you know, put our name on it and get all of our coworkers trained to do what we do at Quick Trip. We put together some great teams here. Um, a lot of the coworkers transitioned over um, when we bought out the old stores. Uh, they've done a great job adapting to Quick Trip and learning, um, and they're here to, to take care of the communities and make a difference in people's lives. All those who received a donation today say the money will go a long way to help the community. Audrey Stetson, TV6 News, Gwynn.